Good morning. Today we celebrate Thursday of the first week in ordinary time. We again welcome Father Peter with us today. Our mass intention is for Danny uh, Fatukas, the living, and this mass is being live streamed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather this morning to thank and praise God and to present the first fruit of our strength, let us ask God for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal us wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of your Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years, because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, they have always been of erring heart, and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your father tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Forty years I was weary of that generation. I said, this people's hearts go astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore, I swore in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Father, your blessing. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand, touched the leper and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly, he remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. So, this week, 
we started with the adult Jesus coming to the world to cure us, to heal us, and to bring us closer to God. And from Monday, we those who have been coming for the morning masses, we realized that no, he had been doing a lot of healing processes. And yesterday, he went and healed Simeon Peter's mother-in-law. And then he went to a place to pray. And Peter went there and said, everybody is looking searching for you. And he said, let's go to another place and then continue. So today he does the, uh, the healing process. But what is it? He is the Savior who has come to save us and to cure us. Cure us of what? Is it diseases? No. But to cure us of our sins. So that's why normally we come to the altar, we say, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So he has come to take away the sins of the world. So the leprosy is not only a physical sickness, but also the sins that we have that he begins to cure us. If you listen to the gospel well, Jesus was static and there was a movement of somebody going to Jesus and then, if you wish, you can cure me. And he said, I wish, I will. So Jesus is always working for us every day in our lives for us to make a move and whenever we make a move, there will always be healing for us. We experience him in the mass. That is not only it, but he's always in the tabernacle waiting for us. The blessed sacrament waiting for us. How do we as individuals go there and trust just like the leper Ask them for help. If you wish, you can cure me. And he really did it. Sometimes we begin to think what the sacrament of the Eucharist is about, whether it is real. But it is still the same Jesus who was incarnated and Mary gave birth who died and rose in body, still in the tabernacle, waiting for us. How do we, as individuals, adore him? We normally come and receive communion. How do we, as individuals, think and feel that this is really the body and blood of Christ and the miracles that he worked years past? He can still do it for us. The real presence of Christ is in the, tab in the tabernacle. It happens on the, on the altar here. Very soon when I take the host and the wine and say, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have brought this bread and wine. And then when you recite the holy, 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 I say, you are indeed holy. Let your spirit come upon this bread and wine so that it becomes the body and blood. So we, we command the third person, which is the spirit, to turn bread and wine into the second uh, person, which is Jesus Christ for us. And as Jesus did in those days, do we really believe that when he touches us, on our palm and our tongue, we can get all the healing that we need. May the good Lord continue to strengthen us as we come closer to him. May our faith be strengthened to see the love that he has for us, that always he is there waiting for us, and we have to make a move to get closer to him so that he will heal us from all the weaknesses and sins of the world and bring the world 
in totality closer to him. And may the good Lord bless us all. Amen. Shall we please stand and put our knees before him? For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. For all who are opposed by any kind of need, or oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. And for ourselves in our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us put our individual needs before the Lord. Lord God, we gather this morning to thank and praise you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us and for us to present the first fruit of our strength. We humbly ask you to increase our faith in the Eucharist that we experience every day in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is very right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created a human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all creatures serve you. And all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too exalt in all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Nestor, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and save from all distress as you wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord always be with you. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace, and we ask if you're watching us live stream, please put a note in the chat box. Peace, Father. Peace. Lamb of God. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion for those watching from home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly, says the Lord. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacrament may serve you with lives pleasing to you. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we thank you all for coming and have a very fruitful day. Thank you, Father. Thank you for being here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.